Poitiers, Laos. Uh, not a very often visited capital. I was last here 10 years, so I'm interested to see how much it's changed. Let's go, see the sights. That's where I'm staying, hotel. But there's a statue I didn't see before. Fa Nagum, uh, an old king, apparently. So let's try to get some Lao kip. And there we have it. 100,000 is worth about 10 pounds, I think. One thing I've noticed is that the NTA is very dusty. It's not particularly dirty, but it's just dusty. You can see the dust by the side here, it's just blowing around. Old French uh, colonial place, so uh, very popular with the, uh, the bakery stuff. You know you're somewhere special when you get coils or electricity cables like this, look at that. Wow, look at this, the Lao National Culture Hall. So Vientiane's got more going for it than the last time I was here. It was hardly any tourists, now there's quite a lot. And there it is, the black stupa. Um, but the legend is that there was a seven-headed dragon or something that guarded this place. And there's also a rumour that it was once covered in gold, but the uh, Siamese stole it during a war. So Laos is still a communist country, I think. Thus the uh, Lao flag and the hammer and sickle of the Soviet Union. Still on my way to the temple, but look, again, fading French colonial architecture. Hopefully one day they will uh, restore this. So here it is, Sisaket Temple. It survived, I reckon, because when the Siamese invaded, they used it as their headquarters. This one's let himself go a little bit. So I'm leaving the uh, temple and heading to this building down here, which is the Presidential Palace. So, some tourists beat me to it. Looks good though. Palace Presidential. And here's another one. I think this is a really old one. Uh, I've got to pay to get in this one, 10,000 kip. I'm in. I'm boiling. I'm sweating. A grand one though, definitely. Let's have a look inside. People in Laos are very polite, but their signs are not. Okay, behind me somewhere, not sure where, is the mighty Mekong. So that's where I'm heading next. So the river, the mighty river, is somewhere over there. So I'm going to walk down this track. But first, let's have a look at this statue. So I'm just braving the air uh, track. I'm hoping uh, Lao doesn't have crocodiles. So it's like I'm in rural Lao, just a few minutes away from the city behind me. The Mekon. So you can just be walking past this dominion of fitness, the sports solution, or the gym, and then you come to this beautiful building. Wow. So here we are, Wat Si Muang. Is it my third, my fourth one today? I'm not sure. This is the busiest one. Guy trying to gather his troops. Just have a market, so I might as well pop in and have a look while I'm here. Just a typical market that you find anywhere, anywhere. Nothing of interest. 
out I go. So now I'm going to head to this, the uh, Patuxai or Freedom Monument, I think. Sorry. And there it is. And look at this, just a short distance away. Elephants, but when you go up close, you see what it's made from. Cups and saucers. So I'm going to try now to climb up. Remember these steps from last time. So I think halfway point full of like touristy shops and I have just bought myself a fridge magnet. Every combination of t-shirt that you want and much more besides. Made it to the top. It's worth coming up 3,000 kip, which is less than 30 pence. But you've got to climb up the steps yourself. So I've just hired myself um, one of these. Off I go. and obviously the best. So I was here last time, don't remember this. There we go, 10,000 again for a foreigner. Last time I came I said it needed a lick of paint. I think they've done it. Apparently somewhere in this whole complex is um, a giant reclining Buddha. So that is what I'm going to find, hopefully. So just wandering past this fabulous building. This little woman here sat here with some little birds in cages for tourists to come and pay to let them out. It's a sad little thing that if you come here you shouldn't do that because she'll just catch more. There's a few of them around. Need some more of them, but I'm hoping that the Buddha is in here somewhere. So I found it with the help of uh, some ladies manning a little food stall. They pointed me in the right direction. Impressive. So my next stop is a long way away, about 50 kilometers, um, but it's meant to be good. Buddha Park, that's my next stop. to my eyes um, but let's have a look inside the Buddha Park lots of tourists and if you're gonna buy a fried banana there's where to get it from and these are the toilets in the uh, Buddha Park prepare yourself because this is the flush color this is a clean toilet believe it or not lovely before I see the Buddhas I think I'm gonna get a beer Lao one of the best beers in Southeast Asia Purchase made. Very nice. So I'm just going to wander back down towards the Mekon. Got all these flowers. A lot of work going on. Here we 
go. <laughs> Look at this, wow. No safety bars to get up, just clamber the steps. So here's the entrance. Got to clamber out of that. So that's Buddha Park done. And um, we're actually really close to the Thai border. The Thai Friendship Bridge, a famous bridge that you can cross over to Thailand, is only four miles away. I think his uh, tuk tuk's breaking down. God awful smell. So yeah, it's broken down. So the driver's trying to summon help from somewhere, so we should have a look around. Looks suitably tropical down there. So back near the Mekon. No idea what's going on here, but it's a busy place. Sudden urge to have an ice cream to cool me down. I'm just hoping that shop sells them. Well, success, some sort of um, what says black bean. So it's a uh, coconut, very nice. See that, like that amazing. Like when we brought it down, the shop that we stopped outside was this. And this was a toy shop. A bit longer than 20 30 minutes, but anyway, it's done. We're off. The geezer did it proud. I'm back at the hotel. So it's about an hour later. I'm going to try to get down for the sunset. We've got quite a good stretch. There's bars and restaurants down here. Good place to watch the sunset. Here we are, made it to the uh, sunset view point. Uh, lots of people around. So I spotted a bar up there that I might better get, catch the last bits of the sunset from. Bo Penyang. Made it up. Let's have another beer loud. Big bottle, look at that. Good beer. So it looks like the night market started. So just wandering through the stalls now. Busy as hell. So the main things in offer seem to be shoes, bags, and mobile phone accessories. Noisy birds in that tree. Can't see any. So that's it. My sightseeing done in Vientiane. A lot's changed since I was last here a decade ago. It's definitely worth coming. Up and coming Southeast Asian city.